In this video, we will learn about that how we can calculate the amplitude of accommodation. So before learning about the amplitude of accommodation, we have some knowledge about the near point and the far point. And we have discussed in detail about the far point. The link is in the description. So the far point is the point in the space which conjugate with the Fovea centralis of a person when accommodation of that person is totally at rest. And if we talk about the near point, the near point is the point in the space which conjugate with the Fovea centralis of a person. But this point, the near point is closest to the eye, right? So the near point is a point in the space closest to the eye which conjugate with the Fovea centralis of a person when accommodation is exerted maximum. So now let's learn about that how we can calculate the amplitude of accommodation with the far point and the near point. So for calculating the amplitude of accommodation, we have a formula and that formula is A is equal to P minus R and A is denoted as the amplitude of accommodation and P is denoted as the punctum proximum and the punctum proximum is also called the near point and R is denoted as punctum remotum and the punctum remotum is also called the far point. We have already learned about the far point as you know that the far point of a emetropic or a normal person having normal refractive power is the optical infinity. So in different refractive errors, the far point is different. We have discussed about it. And if you talk about the near point, you can calculate the near point of accommodation of a person with RF rule as we have discussed in our last video, right? So now suppose this is our P is our near point. So suppose the near point, this is a supposed value, right? So let's suppose 10 centimeter is a near point of a person and the far point of a person is 5 meter, for example. So these near point and far point are in not in diopters, diopteric form. So we have to convert in diopteric value, right? So to converting in diopteric value, we have a formula which is called D is equal to 1 over F. D is our diopteric power and F is called the distance, that focal length, right? So if you put the values, D is equal to 1 over F and F is 10 centimeter, right? So the value is in centimeter, we have to convert in to meter, right? So it would be 100 over 10. So if we solve it, our near point in diopters would be 10 diopters and now our far point is 5 meter. So now we will convert meter into diopters. For that, the formula is the same. D is equal to 1 over F. F is 5 meter. So this 5 is already in meter. So no need to convert. So 1 over 5 would be 0 0.2. So our far point is in diopteric form is 0 0.2. So now we will put the values. Our near point is 10 diopter and far point is 0 0.2 diopters. So the answer would be near point minus far point would be 9.8. So our amplitude of accommodation would be 9.8. So with this formula A is equal to P minus R. If you have near point of a person and far point of a person, you can calculate the amplitude of, amplitude of accommodation with this formula. Hope you understand and in the very next video we will learn about the amplitude of accommodation with Hofstetter formula.